Vamos lá. Oh, okay. I was waiting on Lightning McQueen to get up here. Well, good morning. Thank you so much for coming up here and be with me this morning and bringing your mama. I'm, that's pretty exciting stuff. I just want to, we're going to say, I'm going to say this so your mamas can't hear me, okay? I want you to think about something for just a moment. Wouldn't it be fun? Think about this. I better not say it too loud. Wouldn't it be fun to do whatever you wanted to do? I mean, think about that for just a second. You could, think about this. You could sleep as long as you wanted to sleep. You had nobody telling you when to get up. You could eat whatever you wanted to eat, and no matter, and not just you could eat whatever you wanted to eat, you could eat, I mean, if, I bet I could eat a box of fudge rounds. <laughs> but my mama would tell me not, I could only have one or two. Could you imagine that for just a moment? And here's another cool part. Now, I don't know about all of you, okay? But you could keep your room just as messy as you wanted it. You didn't have... <laughs> I knew I'd get a witness. You had to clean it today? Well, that's just punishment. And, and you could leave your room... You could leave your room clean, uh, messy. Think about it just for a second. You didn't have anybody telling you what to do whatsoever. How cool would that be? That'd be a lot of fun, wouldn't it? Well, sometimes that's what we think, that it would be fun, especially with our mama. We didn't have our mamas telling us what to do. Of course, I said that to get you to thinking, and that's not what I want you to do because our mamas are a blessing to us. I want you to think about something for just a moment. How many of you went to the store and bought your mama? How many of you went and picked her out? None of us did. Our mamas were handpicked for us. Have you ever thought about that? God handpicked your mama just for you. And not only did he handpick your mama for you, he handpicked you for your mama and your daddy. What's wrong with what I was saying, though, and I'm closing? Is that doing whatever we want? It's not in the Bible. Matter of fact, it's not biblical. Because listen to what the Bible says. But a child, if you're listening, say I am. But a child left to themselves brings shame to their mother. When we're left alone to do whatever we want to, God says that brings shame to our mama. It embarrasses our mama. It makes our mama feel bad. So this Mother's Day, I want you to do two things for me. I want you to look at your mama. You can do it now. You can do it later. I want you to look at your mama and say, thank you. I love you. And then I want you to look at God and say, God, thank you for my mama. Let's pray together. God, we do thank you for our mamas, and we thank you for our children. And so, Father, we know that we have been handpicked. God, not only do we recognize and, and, and honor the love of our mothers today, but God, we have to tell you thank you for your love that you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. Now, as these young hearts and minds grow, may they be drawn closer to you, closer to that love, closer to that cross, and closer to Jesus. And it's in his name we pray. And everybody said... Amen. Miss Rhonda's got something for you. Church, will you give God a hand for our kids?